Now I'm going to demonstrate how to insert page numbers in a Word 2007 document. And along with that, I'll show you how to have a different page number on the first page. And in the example we have here, we have a table of contents on our first page, so we want our numbering on our second page to become page one. So we'll show you three things. So here's our document with the table of contents. First, we're going to insert page numbers. So we'll go to the Insert tab. And in the header, footer section, under Page Number, we'll select Page Number. We'd like ours at the bottom of the page, and then we want them to the right. So that's plain number three, with the number to the right. So I've selected that. I'm going to close the header, footer view. And as you can see in this document, page one is page one, and so forth. We don't want page one to contain this text here, so we're going to insert a page break. So we'll go to the Layout tab, and under Page Setup, we have the Breaks menu. We'll select that, and we're going to insert a section break. Insert a section break and start the new section on the next page. So we'll select that, and as you can see, Word moved our text down to the second page, and now we've got our table of contents isolated on the first page. But now we have our page number ones on the table of contents and we don't want that. So we're going to double click this page number and it opens up in this de design view the page number dialog. So we're going to select this for different first page. I've selected that and now as you can see page one has the ability to put a different page number. It moved over to the left, but we're just going to leave it blank. So I'm going to close the dialog. And now we have a blank footer on our page one. And then our page two says page two. Now, I want this to say page one. So I've got one more step. I'm going to double click this two. And I'm going to go over to the left where it says page number. I'm going to left click that and I'm going to select format page numbers. And this dialog box allows you to change the numbering. So down here under page numbering, instead of continue from the previous section, which is why we have a two, we're going to select this and start at page one. Select whatever you want, but we want one. So we'll click OK. And now as you can see, our page, which is actually page two, as you can see in the status bar is number number one. I'm going to close the header footer view. I'm going to scroll up. Here's our page one with the table of contents, no numbering. Here's the actual page two, but it's numbered with page one, and that's what we wanted to accomplish.